All right, Sheila. Um, looks like we're having some great wins today. And I just want to want you to share with um, my clients and other people that have been struggling with weight loss what your journey's been like. So I love to share these stories. I love to share successes. And I know you told me earlier that you love reading, you know, other people's testimonies. And now you're like, here's your chance to share mm -hmm. your story so you can inspire others. So go ahead and just share with everybody um, what was your life like before you started this journey in the weight loss evolution? What was your life like before? Well, my life has been a continuous um, journey of dieting, fasting, um, being on the latest fad diet, uh, trying every diet pill, uh, anything that had to do with losing weight. If I seen it, I was going to try it. I could be in the middle of one diet program and see something else and stop it and go on another one. Um, I've been on this journey since I was probably, probably about 14, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't remember a time in my life when I wasn't on a diet for real. Like there's never been like a whole year that I went without being on some kind of program or watching my weight or starving myself or, or something. And, um, I was on Facebook and I seen Dr. Leona's ad and, um, it was just something about her ad because I don't really like to click. I have finally got to the point where I'm not going to click on another ad because that means you got to go through this hour long testimonial or whatever. And then it ends up being a diet pill or something. But for some reason, I was just drawn to her. And so I clicked on her ad and I was like, hmm, something about this program just seems different. And I don't really, I really just can't even put my finger on it, but it just seemed like it was something that I was very interested in. So that, that's when I got in contact with you. It was during the holiday season. I'm like, I don't know if she's going to answer me right now, but she answered me right away. And I think I even got in contact with you like the day before a holiday or the day after the holiday or something. So that yeah, we was talked on Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was very impressed. Very impressed. And it was actually you. It wasn't like um, somebody that was representing you. It was actually you. So um, when you start telling me about the program and, and all the aspects of the program, and I was like, you know, I, I've just, I've done everything. I, I know what to do. I know, you know, to count the macros. I know what, what not to eat. You don't eat the, the white bread or the flour or anything with flour or the rice or all that. I know that stuff. So what is different about this program that's going to really help me succeed. And the fact that you do, you know, you do the blood work and you find out like what's really wrong with the person, because it doesn't matter if you lose all that weight and you still have all those symptoms, because that means that everything's going to come back. So I was just really impressed right from the beginning when I took the test and you gave me the, the, the results and I was like, oh my gosh, well this makes a lot of sense. This makes sense why I can't lose and keep it off because I can lose, but I can't keep it off because I'm not fixing all those other things. And I was like, so excited, like, oh yes, finally a solution. And it's not just a pill because everybody has a pill, you know, that you could take and lose the weight, but it's, and it's natural stuff that's gonna, heal you from the inside out. So I've just been really excited about this whole process. Um, I, I love the fact of the one-on-one -on -one contact that we have. I think that's one of the major things that keeps me on track is knowing, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have that call once a week. So I better not mess up because I gotta tell her how much I weigh and I gotta show her my food journal. And a couple times, you know, I slipped a little bit, but I was honest and I put it down. And, um, but you can see right there on the journal how it affects, you know, how it affects you. Like, okay, so that might be the reason why I didn't 
lose as much that week or whatever. But um, I've just really enjoyed every step of the way with this process. Um, I get excited about, um, like, with the fast. Who gets excited about a fast? But, <laughs> but um, I also looked at during that time as like a spiritual awakening too, like um, to open my eyes to like, you know, what are some of the things that I can do better as far as my health, like getting more rest or meditating more, praying more, or, you know, just what else can I do to help this journey that I'm on? Because it's not a quick journey. I mean, I have a long way to go, but I'm just really, really excited about um, the results that I'm seeing so far because um, every single week I've lost except one week and I gained a half a pound and I almost lost my mind <laughs> <laughs> because of a half a pound. Dr. Leona got me straight. And she said, you know, you're going to have those up and down. So half a pound is not bad. But you would have thought I had gained like five pounds or something. But she brought me back to earth and let me realize that the body, you know, the body's composition changes. And even though I gained that half a pound, I may have, um, that could have been muscle I gained or whatever reason. So I'm trying not to get caught up on the little half a pound that I um, might gain uh, through this journey, but realize that uh, I'm hopefully building muscle along the way too. So I'm just excited. I'm just excited about, um, about the end results because I know um, from the protocols and, and the things that she's teaching me that it's not just going in one ear and out the other because I'm really, really sticking to like everything that she says and i'm just uh, I'm, I'm finally excited for once to be on a program that i know at the end is going to be good results and i'm going to be somebody's success story like somebody's going to read my story for once and say oh my god look at her did she really look like that like i you know like i do everybody else like oh my gosh are you serious is that the same person so I'm just, I'm so excited about my before and after picture that it just, it keeps me motivated. That's one of the things that keeps me motivated, so. Yeah, that's awesome. And what, what I want people to realize is you're still in the journey, you know. Still in it. Got a ways to go. Picture, but we're working on your after, after picture. So, yeah. you know, we've been working together about three months now. So. Mm -hmm. What's changed in the last three months? I mean, would you like to share how much you've lost, even though we know that weight isn't the main goal, as you know now, mm -hmm. but not only have you lost weight, please share that, but what else have you gained in this journey besides the weight loss? Um, I've lost about 20 pounds and I've gained confidence. Um, I have more energy, I have more stamina, um, even just my attitude, my whole attitude is different and willpower. I, I've gained a lot of willpower um, because with the situation that, you know, everyone is, is impacted by with everybody having to stay home and my family situation um, until deals with, I live with a lot of kids who have a lot of unhealthy snacks around me all day. And I, the old Sheila would sneak. I know she would. She would get some of the potato chips because those are my weakness. I'm real glad that um, my willpower, oh my gosh, yes. It, it takes a lot of willpower to be around wrong, wrong kinds of food and not say, oh, well, I'll eat these potato chips and then I won't eat dinner or I won't eat lunch or something. No, I'm not gonna eat the potato chips. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a vegetable or I'm not gonna eat, I'm gonna drink some water and then I'll eat my, uh, my meal. So yeah, a lot of coffee, a lot of You bring up a good point because right now during the filming of this video, we're in the middle of a health crisis, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we're at 
at home, they're stressed out. You know, we're dealing with people that can't handle stress, they're emotional eaters. So if you weren't on this program, and we, like I said, we didn't know this was gonna happen. This mm -hmm. from all of us almost literally overnight, it seems. So what would you say the old Sheila would have done during this time? Because, you know, I'm concerned about how people are treating their bodies during this time. Mm -hmm. They're stressed out, they're worried, they're at home, they're binge eating on... <laughs> Let me figure this out. So we're in the middle of a health crisis and a lot of people are just using this. Um, they're stressed out, they're emotional eating, they're not making great choices. So what would the old Sheila have done at this time? And how have you utilized this time to continue to stay healthy despite this time of uncertainty and crisis? I mean, how are you handling it? Um, the old Sheila would have definitely gave you in and buy stuff, unhealthy stuff. I wouldn't have bought healthy snacks or vegetables or um, I would have had the water with um, the, the flavor, flavor things in it. Um, and I probably, I would have probably been a little stressed, but I'm, I'm not stressed at all. Like it's almost scary that I'm not stressed. Like shouldn't I be more worried than I am? Cause I'm not, I mean, cause I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and I'm, I'm definitely not going out. Like, it has to be like I'm down to my last piece of lettuce <laughs> before you go out. But um, I'm, and I'm sticking. To, I'm sticking to my plan. I'm not eating junk food. I'm not eating chocolate um, because of my knee. I'm not really able to exercise a lot. But yesterday, for the first time in probably over a month, I did a walking tape for 20 minutes inside walking tape and surprisingly my knee is feeling it's feeling better today it's not hurting me um so i'm thinking i might be able to go ahead and you know do some exercises and not use that as an excuse not to exercise that way my stress level can also continue to keep down but i, I know the old me would have gave in I, i'm not saying i would have went crazy and just ate a whole bag of whatever, but I know I would have cheated some. So th it, this has definitely taught me a lot. Right, right. I'm so proud of you for that. I mean, this is just <laughs> amazing. And I guess one last point I'd like you to share. I mean, you've gone through what I'd say many women have gone through, tried different things, was mm -hmm. unable to, to succeed, tried again, just to fail again, but now mm -hmm. you're doing it, you're being consistent with it. I mean, since the beginning, besides that little half a pound, you know, <laughs> that you went through, you've been consistently losing weight and doing what needs to be done. And you don't have to be perfect. The thing mm -hmm. is, you've been consistent. Um, you just trust in the process. And we're still going at it. I mean, you got mm -hmm. 20 pounds down and more to go. But the fact that you've learned this, these are principles you can keep with you for a lifetime. So not only are you losing weight, you can overcome health crisis, you know, you can right. continue on despite what's going on around you and you're mm -hmm. learning ways to adapt. So these are strategies not only help your health, but help your life. So in the last few minutes, what would you like to share to the other women out there that are struggling and really don't know what to do, that have been in your shoes, tried many diets and are really hesitant about what's out there? What would you like to share for those ladies out there that are listening? Um, I guess one of the main things I would like to share is you just have to be consistent. You have to be determined and you have to make up in your mind that it's, it's your life. It's your health and either you're going to get healthy now or you're going to pay for it down the line with getting all kind of, you know, health issues that you didn't necessarily have to have that are weight related. So you either pay the price now or you're going to pay the price later. So you might as well try to get it right now so you can live a healthier um, life with longevity. So just be consistent and know that um, you're going to have some days where you might want to give up, but you got to remember what you're doing it for. 
you got to remember that um, how much better you're going to feel at the end when your doctor says, oh, you don't have to take um, high blood pressure medicine anymore, or you don't have to take high cholesterol medicine or blood um, or um, diabetic medicine or whatever the case may be. You got to keep the big picture in mind, but you also got to look um, at the little goals along the way and not think, oh my gosh, I got 80 pounds to lose. How am I going to lose those 80 pounds? But if you break it down with, well, this month I'm going to lose five pounds or this month I'm going to lose 10 pounds and into smaller blocks, then it's not so overwhelming. But just trust the process and just keep going. And if you get discouraged, find somebody to talk to, talk to Dr. Leona because she's available. Um, watch her videos. Uh, just be encouraged. Just, just be encouraged. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you for sharing. And, um, you know, I just pray that this gets out to the right people because especially right now, you know, we need to be encouraged. We need hope. I just wanted to share some mm -hmm. good news. I mean, like yes. right now, we are in the midst of a health crisis and mm -hmm. I just wanted to share some good, encouraging news. So there's going to be more stories. My job is to you know, my journey is to just really share more great stories like this. So the time you have is now. And what I want to share is even before we started talking, I was just thinking about how important now is and what we can do with mm -hmm. our time now and how much we've taken for granted, you know, how much we've taken for granted of just going to the grocery store and, and the food is right. there, the job is there, our check is there, whatever. And this really, I think you going through this journey during these times right now mm -hmm. is going to make you much more stronger and confident. And these surprises aren't going to really set you back anymore. Because I think when things happen, these uncertain mm -hmm. things happen, that's when people use that as a reason to just go backwards. Mm -hmm. But I love how you and other clients that I love to share their stories with have kept moving forward despite of what's happening around them. So I'm proud of you for that. Thank you for sharing your story You're and um, looking forward to another one. We're going to have more. Trust me. This woman's yes. amazing. So we're going to share some more stories. You're going to see her again. We're going to see her. Uh, this is her journey picture. We're going to see her. Right. Later. Before and after. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks again, Sheila. And, Thank uh, you. Thank everybody. I hope it's encouraged someone. And we will see you next time. <laughs>